So in order to just like drive the point home, I really feel like I wanted to make a video about how uh, disappointed I am at the performance of Disgaea 6. I, I'm not I'm not trying to be like super negative about it and I'm probably still gonna play the game because in the end Disgaea is an experience ha that has to do with the the you know the comedy of the storyline and the characters and 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 also the uh, you know grindy leveling system that you can exploit so you know it's probably still going to be a fun game but I just, I'm so disappointed, and I wanted to do a little bit of a side-by-side a -side even. So, like, the first thing I'm going to do in this video, honestly, is I'm going to pull out Disgaea 6 from the Switch, and I'm going to put in Disgaea 5. And the reason I'm going to put in Disgaea 5 is just so we can have side-by-side -side of the last game in the series versus the current game. So, we're just going to up. I'm just going to start it. I don't need an update for Disgaea 5. Ugh, gee whiz. Alright. We're doing it live! Okay, fine. Takes basically no time, whatever. Yeah, Killia, you eat that. You eat that food, sir. Load times are certainly a thing in Disgaea 5, I'll tell you that. Alright, so... Well, we got the anime intro in Disgaea 5. I'll tell you right now, Disgaea 6 did not get one. Whatever. Okay, so. Disgaea 5. As you can see, snappy. Yeah, all that. Oh, that's good. Hey, we're jumping. And, it, you know, it's moving around nice and smooth. See, and this is a save where I didn't get too far anyway. So we'll just go to the uh, the first stage. Let's go. And as you can see, it is you know working about as you would expect from a a game like this. I'm just gonna do a quick combo move. Good old hot tub manager. What a guy. Let's go. Haha. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant, really. I mean, that's of course really over the top. <laughs> no, dude. All right, so I'm going to point this out, too. You'll notice when I hit B to back them up and they go back, the cursor goes back with them, too, because that's another thing. Man. All right, I'm going to pull out um, a mage. Main reason being... Look at the reach on that. So, I mean, casting spells in this game, just normal. So that's that's Disgaea 5. You get the idea. We're going to kill it. That was a smooth experience, of course. 
Very nice. If you've, if you've not seen Disgaea 6 yet, prepare yourself because, well, you'll, you'll see. Nippon Ichi Software presents. Oh, yes. They certainly do present. So, right off the bat, if you're just looking at this, this doesn't seem too bad. And the thing we're going to be talking about is the graphic quality mode. This is a new thing that they've introduced in this. Because, for the first time ever in Disgaea's history, everything is, is models. So, oh, you can already see, that's just... Oh my god. So As you can see, everything is 3D models. And if you're standing still, maybe it doesn't look so bad. But just you wait. My god. The frame drop just from moving. This is ridiculous. Look at this. You get a few models on the screen and suddenly... Everything is just... Really choppy. Look how choppy that is. So then... Let's talk about settings. Graphic quality mode. So this is the mode that they start you on when you first start the game. Is graphics mode. Now you could change it to balanced. This, I guess, lowers the resolution, lowers, you know. Everything doesn't look quite as clear. But it's a little bit smoother movement. This is playable, but it's not really nice at all looking or feeling. <laughs> but it's playable. Now. Here's performance mode. So this, the frame rate is much better, but God, look how, look how it looks. This literally looks like a 3DS game. This looks like it was made for 3DS with how bad the graphics look. So now, I'm going to put it back in balanced mode. Because like I said, that feels playable. Follow me, please. And let's go through the dimensional gate. And we're just going to go to the first fight. Just like we did in Disgaea 5. Now I must say... I'll blow them to pieces. Even in this fight... The frame rate is really quite um, undesirable, I'll put it that way. Control responsiveness is fine, but... Team-up attack, but then it's just a punch. Yeah. I mean, that was not interesting at all, really. And it's kind of funny because I'll show you. First of all, when you press B to put someone back on the thing, your cursor doesn't go with them. You gotta move it. I don't know if that's a setting. Like. I mean, is that a setting? I don't know. Not gonna look for it right now, but. See where? All right, so it is magic, boy howdy. Is that all? 
We're going to do the same thing I did before. We're going to lift this mage. We're going to throw this mage. And this mage is going to cast a spell. Spells have cutscenes now. For really no honest to god discernible reason. Y you can turn them off, but. So. <laughs> yeah, and if we put it on performance. Yeah. Everything is smoother, but. Doesn't look very good. And playing in graphics mode, even just moving, is a pain. Like, this just feels so bad. Ugh. Like I said, I'll probably still play it. But I don't know how good it's going to be, honestly. Mm. And that's, that's about all. That's about all.